In this video, Jeremy finds an odd pair of sunglasses. The boys force feed 900 psi of nitrous into a turbo keychain. And one of the largest house cats I've ever seen is found in Jeremy's backyard. Hell yeah, brother. You're on the Please Me Fun YouTube channel. Gladys and Cars, April 22nd, Bradenton, Florida. More information in the description below. So I just bought this turbo keychain off of Amazon and I recently saw a video where a guy put like 145 PSI into one of these and it blew up. So we kind of wanted to try it ourselves and I know my compressor goes to like 150 PSI. We've got a couple of different tips we're gonna try. We're gonna use my, uh, just one of these things. I think everyone in their garage has one. Got two different tips though we can try. We're gonna put just the tip in the old turbo here and hopefully uh, crank her up to the moon and see what happens. Air is supposed to come in here and then spin out that side, but that would be if it was spun by, you know, like the hot side of a turbo. So this is gonna act more like the compression. So this will act more like the hot side, even though it's, it's actually the compression side, the cold side. But, um, so we're gonna have to put the tip of the, uh, compressor into here which is incorrect but that's what the guy did in the video it's actually the only way to get it to spin and I can tell it's definitely not built for extremely high rpm so this should be interesting oh my gosh it spins so fast that is so sketchy Compressors got God, it's so loud. So loud. Clearly, this compressor is not gonna be enough, which we figured would be the case. So we're gonna head to Jeremy's house, who he has like an industrial size compressor, and I know that thing is gonna blow this turbo to shreds. I know you guys haven't been in the old boosted ram in a while, so let's let her rip tater chip. This truck is awesome. We need to do more videos with this thing ASAP. We have all the meals. All of them. Cooper and I are huge PDQ advocates. So. Yeah, that Krypton Green. Oh yeah, look. Krypton Green Mustang, or uh, Camaro. Yeah, like God, I almost called it Mustang. It is a Mustang. <laughs> uh, everyone's just hard parked out here. We got a bunch of trucks. Oh, two 2500 diesels, Duramax bros. And then, uh, Jeremy's wife's ATSV. That car's actually for sale now. Oh yeah, it is. And it's actually the world's fastest too. That thing is sick. Welcome to How to Start a Wildfire 101. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds extremely dangerous. Yeah, it's pathetic. Let's, let me see it spool up here. Oh. Yeah. See, it's really math, well balanced. Human math can only produce about one PSI, just so you know. Otherwise, you're like popping blood vessels and you get like raccoon eyes. You yeah, you're pretty experienced with that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's hook it up to the air compressor. All right, we'll see what, uh, what is it, 160 or 180 PSI? Just so everyone knows, the sketchy room we're in is actually where they do the porting. I don't want anyone thinking he's got like some sort of slave chambers. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> Here, I'll hold the, I'll hold the thing in case it gets away from yeah. us. Oh gosh. Oh. Yeah, I think you should probably have some like protective. Uh, All right, sunglasses. everyone put their sunglasses on. <laughs> okay, Jeremy. <laughs> hey, you get close and hold it, alright? <laughs> alright, in three, two, one. Oh, I knew that was gonna happen. So instead of using a hose clamp, we're gonna use a zip tie. Seems like the best route. Well, I don't think it's. I mean, a hose clamp will really get you that extra pressure needed. I reckon. We're lazy. Yeah, I don't want to walk back to the shop. The whole another, <laughs> you know, hundred feet. Got. <laughs> That's all she's got. Holy cow! Oh, it's freezing cold. Yeah, the uh, the water 
Yeah. The water actually kind of should make the medium, you know, like the... It's like when the water goes through... Is it some the, lubricant? No, no, no. When you're using the... Uh, it feel it better. Yeah, it, it basically will... I don't know how to say it other than, like, it, it will accelerate this when you get water in it. So it's like you're moving a solid through there, partially solid. So it's a... Uh, well, it it kind of went up, and then once we get the water going through it... I, I think we got to go for the endurance route on this one. All right, let it rip, Tater Chip. That thing, that thing is built to last. It's probably one of the higher grade Chinese ones, huh? I it was like six bucks, so yeah, I assume. See, this is outrageous. We get one of these, and apparently it's made from higher quality because the one guy did like 145 psi, blew right out. We did 160 to 180 apparently, and not even phased, even under like an endurance run. All right, so we're taking this to a whole new level. We got a nitrous tank out. It's got like 850 pounds in it. So we're gonna put it out in the sun, heat it up for a minute. And hopefully, even though there's a nitrous shortage, we're gonna spend the money to make this happen. All right, so we got some hose, and then we got a nitrous fitting. Well, just like, so we can connect it to a nitrous line, and we're gonna Put that on there, essentially put a clamp around and that should be strong enough to hold it. Cause that thing's got like 800 pounds in it. Which is a lot more than what we were just using. So that should do the job. All right, this is test number one with nitrous. Here's the, uh, here's the gauge just under 900 pounds. All systems to go. I'm gonna crack her open. Spinning? Yep. My gosh! Yeah, successful. Where did it go? It went over here, I think. Holy crap! Goodness gracious! That was pretty good. That was intense. Oh, I see it right there. How much? Oh, we barely used any nitrous too. This turbo apparently cannot. Oh wow! Is it? Oh wow! Yeah, it's broken out the back. Oh, it, it exploded. We have explosion. All the screws are broken off. <laughs> Look at it. It's frozen. Hold it. Touch it. Oh my gosh. Touch it. Yeah. I'd like to get burned. Lick it. Just Come on, give it a little tongue touch. Real, real men lick it? Give it a little tongue touch. No, I'm not doing this. <laughs> Alright, I'll do it. <laughs> Ow! Oh, it's stuck to it. I'm sure it would. Oh. Yeah, I kind of figured, being that it's so cold, wow. Hey, all we needed was some nitrous. <laughs> the slow motion shot is amazing. We can't even find the impeller or the back of the turbo. All well, we have assume it disintegrated. All we have is like the the housing. <laughs> oh, there it is. Wait, where's the impeller? Oh my gosh, it just broke around the edges. Wow. Total success. We just needed 900 psi with a freaking nitrous bottle. Well, there you have it. You can blow up a Chinese turbo. An air compressor probably won't do it, but a massive tank of nitrous will get the job done. Before this video ends, take a second to click on the card in this corner and vote on whether you like the new intros or not. I think they're pretty funny, but I've seen some comments about people not liking them. They're really easy to change, but I think they're hilarious for now. Or we can come up with some alternatives, throw those in the comments. But otherwise, vote on that. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you guys this weekend on Saturday for Cletus and Cars. It's going to be a blast. Thanks for watching and do it for Dale. We'll see you later. Mm -hmm.